Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video in this series, or I guess I shouldn't even say series, but it's just a bunch of videos of us brewing beer. We are actually in the step of bottling our watermelon wheat. So in the last vlog, you saw us brew the beer, you saw us sanitize, you saw us boil, you saw us put it in a big bucket where now we're just waiting for that fermentation to take place and kind of to bubble and create the beer that we ideally want to make. The biggest thing you have to be worried about and takes majority of the time is actually the sanitization and the cleaning process because anything that you're gonna put your beer into or come in contact with, you have to be careful that you aren't putting it in a space that could grow bacteria because that can obviously make the beer go sour, it could ruin the brewing process, and it's less than ideal um, when you're trying to get a good tasting beer. So in this video you'll kind of see that process which it's a simpler process than brewing and um, yeah so you'll actually kind of basically see our watermelon wheat beer come to life and store in bottles and the next video you'll see is actually going to be our taste test action that'll be like our first reaction to the beer and it's our first time doing it so the beer could really suck or it could be pretty good and I will post that for you guys as well. We have no idea what it could taste like so hopefully you guys stay tuned for that and keep an eye out for that. As far as this vlog I hope you guys enjoy it. Once again if you enjoy this type of video give it a thumbs up. Let's get into the next part of the vlog. So today's bottling day, and we're just doing sanitizing right now. Um, five gallons, two tablespoons of sanitizing solution. We're just gonna sanitize everything, the bottles. Beer of choice for sanitizing day is the Moat Mountain. One. process after is basically sterilizing and bottling, right? Yep, sterilizing is the most important so we don't get sour. And we haven't actually checked the beer yet on fermenting, so we're just kind of getting the sanitizing ready. There's a chance you might have to dump this whole load in a few seconds anyway, but we'll prepare Keep just in updated. case things go well. If we don't have a watermelon wheat, we'll have a sour watermelon wheat. Sanitizing, so this is our pot for where the... Uh, <laughs> This is the pot for we're putting all the uh, fermented beer into to get ready to bottle. Kira is helping sanitize. Kira, are you helping? She just woke up from a nap. Oh, where are we going? Maybe not. Maybe not helping. We're gonna open the fermented beer and see. How does it smell? Smells okay, I think. It's got, uh, I forget the name of what this stuff is called, but that says it's showing signs of a healthy, healthy beer. Smells a little, uh, a little like a college party. Smells um, like a Bud Light, for yeah, sure. Yeah, like a Bud Light left over the next day. <laughs> like yeah, warm Bud Light. Like beer pong all night and you leave Oh, Bud yeah. Bud yes, you think so. so? I think it's okay. I'm not smelling anything immediately like rancid or anything, so. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> what do you think, Bean? Is it yummy? And you've got blooms. Got some blueberries. <gasps> so the priming sugar, we have some boiling water, two cups. So we're kind of dissolving that into there. So we have our two cups of priming sugar. Gonna start that in the bucket. Um, this is gonna, it's the sugars that help with the, uh, the carbonation of the bottling. So we're gonna put that in. Then we're gonna also add our pre-sanitized natural watermelon to give it that nice watermelon taste. Ooh. Smells like watermelon. Well, that smells so good. It smells just like watermelon. <laughs> we're gonna start the siphoning process now to actually get our beer into the bottling container and get ready for bottling. All right, we're starting the siphon. Just gonna siphon off a little bit just to cleanse the line here. Siphon starting, boom. That's enough there. 
and we're going to start pouring into our bottling container. I already kind of rinsed this. This has all been sanitized. So now this should kind of be enough to start the siphoning process. Boom. Let's hold it up a little bit so that it doesn't uh, we don't get too much of the crap from the bottom. There's all like yeast and stuff on the bottom of the container. So We're just uh, at the bottom of siphoning. You can see all the yeast and crap down there. So we're just sucking this last little bit out. So we have our bottling bucket down there. All right, we're getting our final gravity reading here. Which basically tells you oh, the ABB. 1.01. Four? Zero. What does that mean? Like 4.5% alcohol? It's 1.013. Contrary to the 1.014 we got earlier. Yeah, because all the bubbles are still clean it up a little bit. Up, so looking actually just exactly within range. Everything came out a tiny bit high, but um, we'll do our calculations um, here. And we'll find out what our ABV of our beer is. In the bottling process, we just kind of just cleared the lines with some beer. Sticking this in like this. Hopefully this goes good. Siphon is just going to push to the bottom to open the siphon. And it's just going to let this beer flow. So obviously now nothing's really flowing out of there. And now filling bottles. Bottle number one is filling. That looks pretty good. And then we'll just move this over to bottle number two. I think about an inch from the top, just so when you remove the wand, you kind of get that natural. Oops. And there. And beer number three. Hello, Hopper. Yeah, thanks for bringing over the box. Bring it over the box to get ready to store the beers in the basement. Well, they carbonate. All right. ABV uh, turned out to be 4.85 to 5.25, depending on kind of a little bit of temperature differences and stuff. And the bean just bit my <laughs> she just hey. bit my finger. Excuse me. Um, are you teething? Excuse me. Hello. Who's got milk on their shirt? Well, on bottling day, we just got the bottles. Nice little 32 ounces, yeah. airlocks included saving on sanitizing. So we're just gonna drop these bad boys into the sanitizing container, sanitize them, and we're gonna fill them with the newly crafted beer. Kira, do you approve? Mm -hmm. Oh, Thank yes. <laughs> Approves of mom, but I was asking if you approve of the bottles, Kira. <laughs> Let's see. Let's try not to smash the brand new bottles on the floor. <laughs> Looks like Kira approves of the bubble wrap. <laughs> Thank you. Finishing up the brewing process with a nice little mocha blonde pipe dreams brewing. Mm -hmm. It's in that glass right there. So we're just kind of tilting the last bit out. It actually smells a little watermelony. Still a decision not made, but you see a little bit of sediment at the bottom there. So we're gonna kind of mark these last two bottles. I'm not really sure what that can do on with uh, whether or not we want the sediment or the Probably this would be the last bottle I brewed, kind of bottle, I think. But these have all been bottled, so they're all full. So bottling day is officially over. Daria is making a coffee. Long day. <clears throat> Not because of bottling, unrelated. It's baby life. Because <laughs> of the baby. So this is our yield. Um, bunch of 12 ounce. So we got six. Six, six, obviously 18, six. What's the math? Do it. 24, <laughs> 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32.
And these are 32 ounces? Yeah, the big ones are 32 ounces, so this is kind of an airlock on them. We got those off Amazon, and um, we actually had, I think, Amazon four. Prime. Amazon Prime. We had, I think, four more, but um, we didn't have enough beer, um, which obviously we have plenty of beer. We'll see you in two weeks for a taste test. Right, maybe if our beer totally stinks, we'll do a vlog of just removing all the labels and dumping all the beer. <laughs> but we'll keep you posted.